Hi there. What up? Hamsterium. Hi everyone, Cindy here. Still on the Hamsterium channel, the unifying channel for hamster lovers. Today I will provide updates on the development of my baby Syrian hamster. After the male parent Coco was moved to another cage, finally this cage only contained the mother hamster and her four babies. Can you count them? The baby hamsters on day three are still complete, with four babies and are healthy. I really hope they all stay healthy until they grow up. I can't wait for their growth. This is day five baby Syrian hamster. Let's see how the development of the baby hamster is like. Hi Momo, how was your day? Let me see your babies. Please step aside, Momo. I want to see the hamster. But wait, is what I'm seeing true? Why does it seem like there are only two baby hamsters? Let's look carefully first. Maybe another baby is piled up on wooden bedding or is in another place. And it's a shame that after so long I've been looking for them. I can't find them. Maybe the other two baby hamsters were eaten by the mother hamster. Too bad. Hopefully these two babies can survive natural selection. I will continue to look after them. This is the state of the cage when I was looking for the lost baby hamsters. It looks like Momo is currently exploring the situation outside the cage, because this is a rare opportunity for her. Look how messy Momo's cage is. Messy piles of wood and bedding. This is day seven baby Syrian hamster. His fur already looks thicker than yesterday. And it looks like the fur color of these baby hamsters will be the same as their parents. Look at the dark color mixed with white. It looks like a cow. Lol. So, reasons why a hamster would eat its babies. If a hamster has prepared for a normal birth by nesting and eating a little more food than usual, then it can be especially surprising to see a hamster kill and eat its own baby. But while a lack of food may be the reason this occurs, there are a few other reasons why a hamster may eat its babies. Stress. Anyone who has had a baby can relate to a stressed out mother hamster. Fear. It is normal for mothers of many species to want to protect their young. But when hamsters are scared or fearful, this emotion can result in killing and eating their own young. Scent. A mother hamster spends a lot of time cleaning and caring for its young. The scent left on each baby helps the mother recognize the young. If a new scent, such as the scent of a human, is found on the babies, the mother might become confused and not recognize her own babies. It may then kill and consume the perceived imposter because the scent of the baby changed. Lack of food, perhaps the most obvious reason why a hamster would eat its own babies is due to the lack of food. The hamster may simply be hungry, or the lack of food may result in the fear of being unable to provide for its baby. Inability to care for all the babies. If a mother feels as though she is overwhelmed with her new litter of pups, especially if it is a larger litter, she may decide she is unable to care for all the babies and eat them. The mother does this out of good for the rest of the babies to help them survive, even though it doesn't look like a kind thing to do. So I hope this little insight that I provide can help to make your hamster safe as a baby. I hope you enjoy the video on my journey to caring for hamsters. See you on the next video.